That's a big Midwest town. And there's Chicago with the trees. And the other side. Yes, we lost a little time, so of course we, get, we want to give you a nice breeze. Tosh is driving so you can get some cool breeze. Our tea shop. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep calling you Tosh. <laughs> My bad. Columbus. That's a shot of claim ahead. This Roosevelt go over to Huya Airport. Now as we turn the corner here, we're going to be on Lakeshore Drive. To so the right, you can see what right. the Look at this. train <laughs> stations would have looked like. Very beautiful. And then I had, oh, more to our left ahead, that Soldier's Field. Where the columns and pediments are, it was built in 1924. And then that spaceship landed on in 2004. <laughs> This is where we come uh, again, you and me. This was originally built for the Olympics, which we haven't had yet, but we keep trying to bid on it. We have a special Olympics every year here, which is cool, and concerts, and back then, rodeo services, things like that. No, three left, but this is quite No, but you have a good spot. I don't have it. The Bears did not even play in 71. They played in Wrigley. Watch your trees on the right, everybody. They played where uh, the Cubs play till 71. This is called Soldier Field because it's dedicated to the uh, U.S. Armed military troops that serve the United States. And it's written right on the front, by the way. So thank you for having me again, I will. <laughs> Up at is McCormick Place. That's one of the many parts of it. There's actually four wings now. Over 20 billion people pass through here for trade shows every year, including the largest auto show in the United States. Now we're going to go under Lake Shore Drive, Drive, Drive. If you want to echo, echo, you can hear your voice. It's just kind of fun. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Woo, woo. <laughs> I know, <Joe>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sonny Player. So this is our gorgeous museum campus. Thanks to Daniel Byrne, who used to work at Marshall Fields before he became a landscape architect. This field museum. Oh, uh, road leads to Marshall Fields. And it is beautiful out here. And seriously, this to the right is our only hill in the city. For real. <laughs> My my skis are rusty. <laughs> Across the way, you'll see the tower. This was Mix Airport at one time. It was a small aircraft base. And then in the late 1900s, it got converted over. Now, it's two more outdoor concerts for venues and a bird sanctuary and hospital. Now, this is an important part of the park on the right, the Gold Star Family Memorial Park. We do plant a new tree here any time a police officer loses their life in the line of duty. And if you notice the fencing through the trees, it's their checkered hat. So any detail, no stone is unturned in Chicago. And here you can see it was Bears Coliseum. We called it because those ionic columns went all the way around it. So less snow gets in there now, and I know it's been since 86. We are the Bears, the Super Bowl shuffle. But I just think bears work better in their natural habitat. So, <laughs> And with a new quarterback, <laughs> we might be a lot better. However, we have more titles, 17, than any other football team in the league before it was the Super Bowl. And that's a fact. So like I said, this is the grounds and beautiful of the Second World's Fair. So all your attractions, field museum, field museum to the left, oh. up ahead the Shad Aquarium, and we take you by the Adler Planetarium. We're done in 1930. Shad Aquarium, by the way, has the largest beluga whale display in the U.S. Can't say what they do with that caviar. And there's a new roof. 90 solar panels to be exact were just added this year because our mayor Ron Emanuel is impressing upon more energy conservation in the city. It's not a bad thing. 
to the right is Burnham Harbor, named after Daniel Burnham, and you'll see it's where the big yachts hang out. They also have their own private supper club. Up ahead, that is a beautiful, and there is a stop up here. As a heads up, number six stop out here. The other planetarium. It's all marble. It's gorgeous. They don't make them like that anymore. Budget cuts, right? <laughs> You'll probably see some brides out here too. Do it, do it. They have wedding receptions, things here too. Now it's built on the hexagon, or on all the columns of the zodiac signs. And they did this in 1930, and the inside, the sculpture of all the planets alignment does not include Pluto. How about that? And we only found out three years ago he's just Mickey's buddy, right? So, someone knew something. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. You'll see there's eateries out here too. Now, for your viewing pleasure, I give you Chicago. Doesn't get much better than that. No Chicago. It's recording. Oh. It's different cameras. <laughs> nice place to take photos here, isn't it? So we probably don't have to stop ahead. Sometimes you stop ahead, but you all seem like you're getting your good pictures. It's very peaceful out here. Anybody getting out here? This is six. This is a stop where another bus will come by every 20 minutes. But there is one by the Field Museum, too. You're going to get out or stay on? Anybody? No? Everyone's staying on, it looks like. Tisha? If she can, she does stop ahead if you didn't get a photo up, but she'll let us know, if possible. Sometimes there's buses in that area. Is that something, though? 